Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? My name is Doodles, and I am back once again playing Goldeneye on the N64. This time, I am doing the statue level. This is the tenth level of the game. We're doing it on agent difficulty, like so I'm doing it on agent difficulty first. When I complete the game, I might do it on secret agent. I might do it on double agent. After that, we'll see how it goes. If you guys are enjoying me playing this game then I will do it. But if you want to show support for it, if you want to show me that you're watching this and you're enjoying it, hit the like button because that shows that people are enjoying what I am doing. And without further ado, we're not going to mess about with a long intro. We're going to get straight into this thing. We've got five objectives today. A contact validating, a confront and mass Janus, locate the helicopter, rescue Italia and find the flight record. At least two of them are mandatory to progress in the level. So it's not like a difficult thing of we've got to find all these things. We've literally got to do these objectives uh, in order to sort of progress the story. They're not sort of like find the CCTV tape. Like, uh, obviously all the objectives are mandatory to progress through the level. But like, you could say finish the bunker level from the last episode without finding the CCTV tape. You'd just fail the level. But in order to like finish the level, we've got a, a couple of these objectives have to be found in order to just progress the story enough for it to happen. So, uh, the objectives, although there's five of them, aren't as difficult as they may seem because obviously we've got to do them. We've got to locate these people in order to progress the story, so all should be good. Oh, there's a dude there. As I said, in the surface level, a couple of episodes back, I really hate when these when this uh, levels are nighttime. This level has to be nighttime because we're meeting people in the cover of darkness. Uh, but I really ho hate the fact that I don't know, I think it's really hard to navigate. Like graphically, I think the nighttime really just hinders visibility. And uh, this level is already confusing enough as it is because we based one round load of statues. But it is what it is. Hopefully, we'll find our way without too many issues. But if we don't, if we get lost and we struggle a little bit, that's okay because we're not in it for a short time. We are in it for the whole time, a long time, whatever. You want to call it. We're having some fun. I'm not speed running this game. I'm not trying to blast through these levels in a minute apiece. I am having some fun. I'm sitting back, relaxing and playing one of my all-time favorite video games, Goldeneye, on the N64. You're kicking back, relaxing and sitting watching me play one of my favorite games of all time. And I am sat talking to you guys, having some fun. I'm talking to you guys. If you were in this room with me, I wish you were in this room with me. I wish if you're sat watching this video now, I wish we were sat. You were sat beside me on a chair and we were having a conversation together. Because I'm talking to you guys, but you can't talk back. And it sucks. But it is what it is. I'm just having a good time doing this. And hopefully you guys are having a good time watching me do this. Because like I said, one of my favourite games of all time. One of my all-time favourite games. One of my all-time favourite FPS games. And a game that despite the fact that it hasn't aged very well. As you can see, these people look terrible graphically. Uh, the game hasn't aged well. However, it a lot of the features in this game have become standard for FPS games. And it's just... So revolutionary this game. And the game plays really well despite the fact that it's 20 years old. I love how because I'm in the middle of this conversation. The enemies just don't pay any attention to me at all. Uh, but yeah this game. This game plays so well still. The aim assist features really good. It's a bit hit and miss at times. But it's really really good. I like the fact that it doesn't have a map. Most games nowadays. Obviously now we've got we've completed that object. We've got to go find Janus. And most games now. I'll kill that dude. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Most games now would have an objective, like a marker, like a big blue arrow that says, go over here, and this is where we'd have to go in order to find Jan. I like the fact that we literally just, we've got to wing it. We've got to just find him ourselves. That's what I like about this game. You don't get that very often these days. And that is what I like about it. It's just, we're, very, we're just in the situation. We've got to just find how to, how to complete and how to progress and how to finish this level. There's no help given. We don't get any things. If we fail an objective, that is it. The game is, well, the level's failed. And I really like that about this game. I really like that about this game. And that's something I wish was in a bit more games nowadays. I think games these days uh, sort of muddy cuddle you, cuddle you hook, what, sort of like hold your hand. They hold your hand far too much these days. I really hate that about games in this day and age. You can't just be left to your own devices. You either find out what you're doing or you fail. I, 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 it really annoys me. They've got to kill these enemies on the map still before um, Janice shows up. There's another one over there because my aim assist. My aim, my gun aimed towards it. 
Well, not when that's everyone, because Janice will appear. I'm assuming there's still more enemies on the map. Yeah, oh, there he is. We need to put away our gun for this. But yeah, that's one thing I hear about games today. They, they do cord your hand too much through this... Uh, through games. But uh, one game that doesn't... Is a game that I'm actually making music for. Uh, because you guys may or may not know that I'm a musician. I'm primarily a musician on YouTube. And I'm actually composing the soundtrack. Or I'm part of the composing team for a soundtrack for a video game that's actually being showcased at Gamescom, the big game convention in Germany, like the European E3. It's being showcased there and it is coming out hopefully in the next year or so. And I'm doing the music for it and that game really doesn't hold your hand at all. And that is called Infinite Desolation. Check it out, Google it, YouTube it, Infinite Desolation. I'm doing the music for it and that game doesn't hold your hand at all. You basically... You, with that game, you basically survive or you die. And that is all there is to it. You don't get any other option. It doesn't hold your hand through it. You're walking around and 30 enemies pop out of nowhere. You've got to kill those 30 enemies. And if you don't, you are done for. And you've got to continuously find supplies. You've got to find oxygen. You've got to find water so you don't die on the uh, on the desolate planet. It is just such a great survival game. And if you like games that don't hold your hand at all, highly recommend you guys go and check it out. Infinite Desolation coming out on PC for definite. Maybe console. Who knows? Uh, but it will be coming very, very soon. Make sure you check that out. So right, I've done two objects. I need to locate the helicopter, rescue Natalia and find the flight record. I'm assuming all of them are going to be found at around the same time. But we've only got three minutes in order to do so. So I'm going to make a run for it. I think the helicopter's right at the start of the level again. Hopefully Natalia's he's got the flight recorder. Hopefully the flight recorder's on the um, helicopter, because if not, we are screwed. Think the helicopter's up here. Yeah, it is. I can hear it. I can hear the helicopter. Right, so we still need to find the flight recorder. I'm assuming it's not there because uh, we can literally just walk through that. Did it get blown off the helicopter? Is it just kicking about? I honestly can't remember. This is one level that still confuses me to this day. There's a dude shooting, I need to kill him in case he accidentally shoots Natalia. Do we have to go back? Maybe we do, you know. Because there's a lot of enemies around here still. Oh, the helicopter could not be thrown this far from the explosion. CSL was correct. It was around the vicinity of the helicopter. I was correct. I just couldn't find it. 
So let's look for anything that may be on the floor. Come on, we can find it. Doesn't that have got a bit of glare from my uh, window behind me? But I need it for the light because it makes the room bright. I've got a white light. Or pretty much a white light um, is my ceiling lamp. So I don't have to have my uh, studio light on when I'm playing games. So that helps a little bit. But having the window open really just sort of tops it off and just makes the picture quality for my camera that little bit better. There'll be someone watching who's played this game so many times, they'd be like, duh. It's clearly over there. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have any idea, man. Don't have any idea. I'll find it. This is probably the level that no matter how many times I play this game, this will still confuse me. There we go. We found it. Where's that? I don't want him to follow me and shoot Natalia. I'm going to kill him. Oh, has he run away? Pansy. So there we go. That is all five objectives done. And we can get um, up on out of here. On up out of here. We can get on up out of here. That's the, that's the phrase, right? Yeah. Oh. That's not ideal. So does the level just finish? So we've been captured again. We have no luck. First time we did it on we did it on our own where we did it purposely, but this time we didn't. But that is all the objectives completed. That was a long one. 11 minutes 34 seconds. My high took far too long for that. But hey ho, it is what it is. So now we are in the archives. Another good level. I really like this level as well. Another good level. And I can't wait to play it for you guys. But I'll be doing that in the next video. Because this is the end of this episode. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. A day a little long. But hey ho. It is what it is. Uh, I had fun doing it. Hopefully you guys had fun watching it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did. If you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. My name is Jules. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.